Huh. Whatever. You choose. Don't you want the right flowers for babe's service? What difference does it make? Well, she should be happy. Happy? She's dead. I'm sorry. I just... I'm just getting ready to start a whole new life. Now we're burying her. Let's just get through this, okay? We'll do the best we can. I have to check on little A. Would you like a drink? Sorry I snapped at you earlier. No parent should have to go through this. Babe is one of a kind. <laughs> she, she lived her life with gusto. She's a wonderful mother. You never said one nice thing about Babe when she was living. And now that she's gone, you're her biggest fan? I meant what I just said. I, I, I'm trying to be supportive. Where are you going? You're a lousy liar. Oh, hi. Could you point me in the direction of Opal's room? I promised her a little visit. Yes, I just came from there. And she'll be delighted to see you. How are you? I'm still standing. Yeah. Well, anything you need, you let me know, okay? Her room is right down there to the right. You see her. Okay. You said you were leaving town. Something came up? Yeah, I know all about your ridiculous threat to take little Adam. It's not a threat. It's reality. I send you a postcard. No, 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 no. You, you are not taking my grandbaby anywhere. Oh, really? And who's going to stop me? You? Adam? <laughs> I was in those tunnels for weeks. The moron never had a clue. Yeah, well, we're on to you now. And I'm on to you, Crystal. You're really good at keeping kids from their fathers. First babe, then Charlotte, Jenny, whatever Don't her name is. Don't you dare is. even it's speak too about late to Jenny. Hide little Adam now. He belongs to me. Soon it'll be official. Over my dead body. Don't tempt me. You can't win, David. So why don't you just cut your losses and leave? My losses? Hmm. You mean what you took from me? Oh, come on. You are nobody's victim. Babe was my second chance of being a father. And I never got it because of you. You owe me, Crystal. This whole damn town owes me. This whole damn town can't stand you. So unless you want your head on a stake. You were always the feisty one, weren't you? Too bad you settled for that loser, Martin. I didn't settle. Oh, come on. Let's be honest here. It must be tough being his consolation prize. Are you telling me that never, not once in the heat of the moment, he called you Dixie? Oh. Oh, all that passion. Oh, look at this. A woman like you has needs, Crystal. Ted can't possibly fill. But me, on the other hand... I cannot stand you. Why don't we pick this up later, right? Right now? I have a life to save. Little Adam's done with lunch, so uh, we're headed over to Tad's. Well, um, why do you why do you have to do that? Uh, your rooms are made up, and uh, Lucretia could make us a nice warm supper. We don't live here anymore. Huh. I see. 
Look, I'm gonna go along with Crystal's plan. We'll stick together till Hayward's out of the picture. But then we're gone. What about forgiveness? I forgave. I don't forget. Little Adam's better off without either of his grandfathers. <laughs>